Uh, just a couple games we want to talk about that we played. Play mm -hmm. sessions. First up, we got to try out Cosmic Encounter with the latest expansion. I think it was the first time we actually used this it was. expansion. Yeah, it was. Cosmic absolutely. Dominion. We, are, we, we noticed we are very lacking on Cosmic Encounter, which is really weird. That's why it's on our 10 by 10 this was a step on our 10x10. 10 10. Was it on our 10x10? 10 10? It was. Oh, I didn't mark it. How could, I did. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> See, it's got a mark. I don't remember that being on my 10x10. Ten, ten ten. It is on our 10x10. 10 10. <laughs> so, we played Dominion. Uh, I think the game went more or less the way Cosmic Encounter games often do, which is completely crazy than the way it differed from the always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, we could talk a little, just a little bit about the roles. What we well, like. I definitely think in this expansion, from what... Most of what I saw with people was these new aliens are, and I definitely meant to be, I definitely mean this pun, are out of this world. Like, their abilities are crazy. <laughs> well, this is the fan-made expansion. Right. And so I think this is definitely the one where, after so many cards, people are kind of really turning things on their head as much as possible, which definitely definitely happened. No. And, uh, and uh, overall, I think I like all of them, some of them were great. Uh, I took a risk, and definitely the risk did not work out with mine. But I still think it was a good card. Well, so what did yours do? Mine was uh, I can put a, a one of my own plants into the void, and it counts as... Uh, but my problem is I don't have any other abilities otherwise. Yours was interesting because it didn't seem to affect anyone but you. It I, I would take a colony from you guys if you land on my planet. But that didn't happen until the game was ending. Also, the thing in this game that happened Oh, you was got attacked every <laughs> turn! But I was involved pretty much every single round of the entire <laughs> game. Like, my color was oh, never God. not chosen. And there were times when, like, oh, different. they had to draw a new card, and it was me again. Or the person who with the most cards, and it was me again. So I liked that. I was like, I get to play the game every round. <laughs> well, um, um, but I loved everyone else's abilities. I do think it was crazy the one, and of course, I think it probably because the person who got it. <laughs> uh, the, I think it was the judge or something. The judge who can... Pretty much, he <sighs> made, because of the person who had it, he said, like, I'm going to win the game in five turns. <laughs> Basically. The, and I think our mistake was not... Uh, we alliance way too much. We didn't go after him. as I think right. we should have punished him more. Uh, but... I still, I had a lot of fun. I'm glad we got to no, play. No, I, I definitely too. want to try more of it. I don't want to try more of the other species. I definitely regret not using the other one because he was really interesting. He was the illusionist, I think was his name. But I mean, my guy had a little submachine and he get to put his planets. I got to create planets and other people's systems. No, so that's why I cool. loved it because you were the explorer and I was like the voyager. I felt like mine was like the cheater card because I got, there were so many, or no, maybe it was the one I Also, we'd like to know, that's your alien. Oh, that's yeah, he who was. was. Yeah, was that. So I felt like I had to pick him. He's the mascot. No, I would. I would thought his ability was really interesting and fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And then I wish it happened more with me because it would have been hilarious. Because if you put something in my system, it would have been like I'm not putting it into the void. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> and like you, you don't have it anymore. Uh, so that was fun. We recommend mm -hmm. checking that one out. And then we went to another old favorite, still space themed, Battlestar Galactica. There was a lot of yelling this. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this was our first time playing with the Daybreak expansion, which I think is the newest one. I know they had one that came out just in the last year, and I think it was this one. Uh, and then this one, you're actually your end goal is to get to Earth rather than Cobol. So, and it also adds oh, oh, two whole new ships, one of which we didn't even didn't even come into play in this game. Right. It was the, like the Cylon ship that didn't, didn't even happen. The Rebel Base Star. But we all, I think almost all of us were using new characters and yes. a lot of new cards came up. What I think was interesting in this playthrough is it had two very unique things that almost never happen in our, in our playthroughs. And I don't think it's because of the expansion, significantly. Okay. The first one, we had a lot of executions. Uh, successful executions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not only that, the Cylon player executed the other Cylon player. No, I, I, no, okay. So yeah, this happened. This was was this before the sleeper phase or after? After. So I think he didn't Thanks. know the other Cylon was a Cylon, right? It was a shot in the dark. He just wanted to execute he, someone. He, no, he wanted his power because he wanted. The, he was the admiral. The president decided to execute the admiral in order to become both the admiral and the president. <laughs> right. And so, but it was kind of, in a way, it, was a, it turned out to be a brilliant move. Because we, we trusted him. Trusted him because he killed a Cylon. So we were like, yeah, this guy is on the level. <laughs> um, but then it turned out later, not so much. No. And now the Cylon but, is both the president and the admiral. And then they played an action with pretty much, if we jumped and you were in one of two places, you, died, you got were executed. In which you and Neil were executed. Right. Now, the reason we left you guys in there is because this is the other thing that happened, which is really weird, I feel like, which definitely really hurt the silent players. For the first time ever, we were, like, golden on resources. Usually, we're like, 
by the we have two jumps left and we have like we have maybe like two food four population yeah but this time we were so good we're like you guys gonna die let's lose the morale <laughs> yeah it was pretty good i still it was still pretty close like we we won humans won yes i think if there had been one more cylon turn they probably would have been able to kill us or get pretty close but we base our last turn was basically just a final gambit to just jump one last time and win we basically just sacrificed everything else and we're like just jump but jump, still jump. i compared to other times yeah that we, come we up, felt pretty confident towards the end because I, that's what i said there was a some usually what i'm thinking is resource control but in so many times we were like Oh, well, let's fail this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, well, I think what we really realized is that... Having the cards in hand were much more it's important. It's much more, yeah. Because a lot of times what you do is you go all in on a thing, and, and then, then when the next thing comes out, you're screwed. So you got to pick your battles. And but, the other the thing, the new space in this that I think really benefits oh, the humans... Missions? Not the uh, missions, necessarily. Oh, give a card to everyone. Yeah, there's a space But that gives the Cylons, cards. too. True, but I still being right. able to draw cards outside your turn... Very no, that cool. new ship I loved. It. I was on that ship pretty much the entire time. Yeah, and those missions are also pretty interesting. We didn't see all of them. Uh, no, they were really good. They were pretty much. They give you distance sometimes, although rarely. only two. Yeah, I looked at. It, I looked into it later because I was curious. Because uh, that's pretty much what I was doing. I was on that ship trying to get those. Right. Those missions were, pre which I really like, because those are the ones where you do feel like the. You, you were talking about you don't feel good about throwing everything in. They mm. are because the good things are like. If this happens, destroy the Cylons. Like, they're flip the thing over so then they can't yeah. throw super things at you. Or get the Rebel base. Star. Like, there are things that are go big, go home that actually feel really good about going big and going home. We also had... It's the... not just, we pass, what happens? Nothing! Oh, yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> we also had the mutiny cards, which, which was a new thing, which were interesting. I didn't let to experience them that much. They actually aren't that bad. I thought there'd be penalties. The penalty is just having them. Right. You you want to get use them to get rid of them because if you have too many you go to the brig. No. Which I get I think is to kind of I think the ship kind of helps humans and that's supposed to balance it a little more. <laughs> but using them actually still helps. Yeah, it's I definitely I feel like this expansion overall helped the humans a little more than it did the Cylons. Uh I, well, I, I feel, but I kind of feel like Pegasus did the same thing. I, I don't know. Um, I, well, I feel like uh, Pegasus definitely helped. I think the human having form. that ship is huge. No, at, but it also I'm, added. Well, both add treachery cards, so that's a no. new element. That's but bad. I feel compared to the last one, uh, this one made it. I think so. It's much more of a. It's either going to really help humans or really help Cylons. Mm. Like I think that's the thing. I think Daybreak makes it so. If the sound, it's gonna really push towards the sounds or really push towards the humans, like, because I didn't think treasury cards are nearly as bad in this one. They had things like that punish you now for discarding them. That was bad. It mm -hmm. stunk, but you had um, the uh, so many of them, like the the triggering of what's it called? Oh, tre treacherous or uh, reckless. Reckless was much harder and not nearly in a skill check, hur hurting yeah. us as much. So it's like, well, now those abilities are really good now. So yeah. I thought it was. Definitely, it was a good solid yeah. addition. We've all, all those expansions are good, and they still again, there's still like a whole section that we haven't even explored yet in this. Uh, but it was fun. We love mm -hmm. Battlestar Galactica.